Your sister. Hi, I'm an American student studying culture and theology, and I have a question. You said Jesus never claims his divinity, and that Jesus was only here for Jews, but the Bible says, tell us if you are the Christ, the Son of God. And Jesus replied, yes, it is as you say. And then in Matthew 28, 18 through 20, Jesus says to his disciples, all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Sister has quoted two verses from the Bible. The first one from Mishnekin, you said that Jesus claimed that you are son of God. Did you say that, sister? Yes, sir. Son of God. And second, she said that Jesus said, go to all the nations. What she's quoting is the ending last portion of the Gospel of Matthew. If you go earlier, sister, let's mention the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 15, verse number 24. He says to the apostles that I have been sent not but to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. What you quoted according to the scholars of the Bible, what they say, that is an interpolation. But whether it is or not, I don't want to argue. But then there's a contradiction in the Bible. The Bible clearly mentions in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter number 10, verse number 5 and 6, Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, says to the apostles, Go ye not into the way of the Gentiles, go ye not into the way of the non Jews, the Hindus, the Muslims, but rather go to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. As far as the first question is concerned, that Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, said that I am the Son of God. Sister, do you know in the Bible, God has got sons by the tons? Adam was the son of God. Ephraim was son of God. Israel was son of God. All those who are led by the Spirit of God, they are sons of God. So if you are a righteous person, you are a son of God. If I'm a righteous person, I'm a son of God. That is the language of the Bible. As far as calling son of God to a righteous person, I do agree that since prophet Jesus was the messenger of God, he should be called the son of God. But what do the Christian missionaries say? No, 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 no. He is not a normal son. He is the begotten son. And they quote the Bible, Gospel of John, chapter number 3, verse number 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Whosoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life. So what we have to realize that this verse of the Bible, begotten son, according to the 32 scholars of the highest eminence of 50 corporate denominations, if you read the RSV, Revised Time Version, they say this word begotten is interpolation, is a concoction, is a fabrication, and the throne of the Bible. So Jesus is not the begotten son, because begotten means it belongs to an action of animals of lower level. So he is verily the son of God, son meaning a righteous person, we have no objection, but he is not the begotten son. He begets not, nor is begotten. I hope that answers the question. Uh,